What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to bring you guys a quick little bit of Xbox news. And this news comes by way of one of my subscribers, Gaming for Days. Thank you for sharing this information with me. Uh, and it's my duty to get it out there to the subscribers as quickly as I can. So in the future, if you guys see any news and the Beastly Gamer hasn't gotten it, please share that with me so I can get it out to the subscribers as quickly as possible. So this news is for Halo 5 and for the Xbox One. And uh, we've seen kind of a new trend in the Xbox community where a lot of their exclusives are being, a lot of their exclusives are actually coming out on PC. And the an exclusive that nobody really thought was going to come to the PC anytime soon actually is coming to PC. Halo 5 is coming to the PC and it's totally free, sort of. I'll drop a link in the description. Microsoft made a pretty big announcement today. Halo 5 is coming to Windows 10 for free. The catch? It's not the full game. There will be no campaign and no regular multiplayer mode. Instead, Microsoft is bringing just the game's Forge mode to Windows 10, along with a bunch of new PC-centric tools for building maps. Forge is a map creation tool used to create player-generated content in Halo games. Up to now, it's only been seen on Xbox consoles. This isn't quite as cool as having the entire game on PC, but it's still pretty neat. PC players will finally have access to Halo 5's map building software, and that software will be quite a bit more robust than on the Xbox One. They're calling the PC version Forge Halo 5 Guardians Edition, which seems like an unnecessary mouthful to me. Why not just call it Halo 5 Forge Edition or something? Quote, Guardians Edition, end quote, makes no sense at all in this context. Anyway, here are the changes coming to the PC version. On the PC version, of course, you get mouse and keyboard support. For the first time ever, Forge will have the option of using a keyboard and mouse, allowing for more precision controls than ever before. Also, you'll have increased resolution, support for multiple resolutions, including 4K, which would be really awesome. Test and play with friends. Enlist the help of friends to help build, test, and play your Forge creations on Windows 10. And finally, build on Windows 10 and publish to Xbox One. Experiences built on Windows 10 can be published to and played on Xbox One, opening the door for countless new experiences to be enjoyed. While it seems like, for now at least, the main purpose of this is to allow PC gamers to create Halo 5 maps for Xbox One, I wouldn't be surprised if Microsoft had another trick up its sleeve. What better way to drive PC interest in Halo 5 Windows 10 release than to get PC player-generated content fans hyped? I mean, if players can test out maps on PC and build maps with 4K resolution, that means that the basic building blocks for the PC version are all in place already. My guess, Halo 5 is absolutely coming to Windows 10. Forge may be Microsoft's way of testing the waters, generating or gauging hype, and so forth. I could be wrong, of course. For my part, I'm just happy at the prospect of playing around in Forge with a mouse and keyboard. Forge Halo 5 Guardians Edition comes out later this year. I bet a bunch of angry Xbox fans will help balance out the excitement the PC community may be feeling right about now. And probably the person leading that charge is one of the worst YouTubers I've ever seen. It goes by the name of Crap Gamer. I'm sure you guys know who this guy is. Uh, I'm not subscribed to Crap, but anything that goes from the Xbox to PC, he acts like it's a personal assault on his character and his family. And it's just ridiculous. This guy, this guy gave Uncharted 4 a 7.5 and he gave Quantum Break a 9.7. So I'll let you know the mentality of people like this grown men who get uh, too emotionally attached. But this news is actually really cool. I, I would be interested in seeing uh, Halo in 4K for the first time. I have a 4K uh, laptop. Uh, it's a gaming PC. It's uh, very, very capable of playing Halo in 4K. So I'm really anxious to see uh, just what this entails. This does look like more than likely we're going to see a Halo 5 official release coming to PC. Uh, what that means for the Xbox community, to me it means some really good things that people who play on Xbox will also be able to play a lot of their games on PC. I actually like the compatibility of PC and Xbox. To me, they kind of work hand in hand. Uh, you know, I, I have Windows 10 on my laptop and I do associate Windows with Microsoft just like I associate Xbox with Microsoft. They're part of the same family and to me they work in tandem and not really against each other. I'm sure there are a lot of people in the PC community 
who played the previous Halo games, uh, who, who would love to have Halo 5 on PC and getting the Forge mode on PC is a great start to a great friendship and bridging gaps in the gaming community and I'm all for it. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, are you excited about getting Halo 5 Forge on your Windows 10 machine? Are you going to try it out? Is it going to be totally free? Of course there are going to be some fans in the Xbox community who are going to be upset and irate about this and act like children about it but hey. For the rest of us adults, this is a really good thing. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, and once again, I'd like to thank Gaming for Days for sharing this bit of news with me. I'm happy you did, and I'm thankful for any tips I get from you guys. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.